on guys welcome back to another episode of sold out on today's episode you guys see it we have the sabrina one finally in hand i'm very excited to have this colorway i do wish the bayous would have already dropped um for some reason all the other countries have access to the bayous nike why do we not have access to the bayous that's so annoying when you see all these other guys getting these products in hand months on end before us when like a lot of these players are from here i know she's from a different i think she might be romanian or something like that i don't know she i know her family her mom and dad is from somewhere else but like at the end of the day why are we not getting stuff first sometimes that just kind of irritates me um and i don't understand it maybe it sells better in that market maybe we don't purchase enough i don't know what it is but nike it would be nice to get the bayous on the website asap please with that being said, we are going to jump right into this. We're going to get the box out of the way. So let's get a quick weight on this sneaker. Um, this sneaker feels light. Um, I'm going to say this is a size 8. I went true to size. It feels great. I probably could have went with a 7.5. So sizing, guys, I don't like to preach sizing to you guys because, honestly, I think my foot has shrunk. Um, I'm almost 40. I wore a size 8 my whole life. It's been pretty snug for the most part. Any 8 that I wear besides Adidas. I usually go down a half size but with nike i'm also noticing that as well so i don't think it's nike has changed their their sneakers last i think it's just my foot is has shrunk i officially think i wear a size seven and a half i'm gonna have to go get fitted again just to get an accurate reading on that but yes um i would have went a half size down but i am not complaining um uh this sneaker still fits good it, it, there's not a ton of room but i think it could have just been a little bit snugger i like my toe box to be a little bit snug so let's get a weight on this get these off to the side shout out to red bull keeping me pushing uh, i'm gonna say this can't be over 12 and it is 12.2 so it, it just feels light like it does not feel like 12. I could have guessed more like 11 and a half. It definitely feels great. It's it's not noticeable on foot. It's more like an extension of your foot. It, it feels great. So that being said, it's, it's not the heaviest shoe. It's not the lightest shoe, but it, it, it just feels minimal on foot. And I think that's got a lot to do with a lot of the materials that they use, but we'll get into that in a minute. Now, working our way from the top down to the bottom, not tons of padding in here. This heel area, Heel comfort area felt great on foot. Um, it, it's almost like a neoprene sleeve that they have around this. So yeah, this area just felt very comfortable. There is no heel slip on this. Um, I, I'm sure if you get a big enough size, you'll get a little bit of a heel slip or something like that, but I had none on this. So if you, if you get your right size, usually you can avoid heel slip, or if you go down half a size, you can avoid heel slip. So for the most part, no issues when it comes to the heel area the sneaker the padding felt good while it was minimal it still felt great on foot there was no rubbing this right here sometimes will press up into your ankle bone on the lows that kind of rise up towards that ankle area this did not do that it felt great on foot i had no break in time on the sneaker whatsoever i pulled the sneaker out the box jumped right into five on five and started playing and it felt phenomenal now down on the laces it's oval laces it is what it is um it's a 130 dollars sneaker you can't expect the world out of laces i, I mean a lot of times you can you can get a $200 sneaker and still not have the best laces. So laces usually don't make or break the sneaker. I just I just try to avoid round laces. I'm not a big fan of round laces at all. So if you can avoid round laces, cool. If you can't, whatever, double knot them, you'll be straight. But these are oval, so you don't have to worry about that with the Sabrina. Now onto the tongue. The tongue has the same feeling material in the heel area on the tongue, but this, this is like a almost memory foamish it's very thin very minimal but it feels great when it conforms to your foot onto the the bottom half of the tongue you guys can see it tons of mesh very breathable uh, it's one of my favorite things about this sneaker um i love the breathability on the sneaker we'll get into that more in a minute but the tongue is is awesome to me i like the little logo touch put her logo right there the s right there now this is a women's shoe so when you order this i had to go up to i think it was a nine and a half um it, it tells you on there though it'll say a w in the women's side and then the men's it'll tell you the size so it, it's really not too confusing but before you just go run out and order this just double check because i've did it with a few shoes before i've ordered my size but it was a woman's sneaker so i got it in women's size that was my fault that was a dipshit move my bad but it ended up kind of 
fit in anyways I squeezed it on and was able to get the performance review out anyway so it really didn't matter but just watch out for that guys so if you love these shoes if you like them you want to order them just double check the size before you just rush on jump on and order them now onto one of my favorite things that caught my eye on this sneaker it's going to be the materials um while it's not like the highest grade stuff i think you're going to get longevity out of this sneaker all this right here like i mean you're going to get stepped on kicked scratched and this is going to take a pounding all this now this right here very lightweight mesh on the side what in I know a lot of people want heavy duty materials. They want the highest quality everything, but like when it comes to mesh, I like a lightweight mesh. It makes the sneaker very breathable and it, it still doesn't kill all the support at the same time. Now, I just really like how they reinforced all this. You guys can kind of see them scales or them dots. I don't know if that's like kind of paying homage to Kobe, but this, this, this in my opinion could have been a Kobe. Like if this was a Kobe, we'd be freaking out right now. If this was the Kobe 12 or the Kobe... A D N X T A T whatever they would call it. There's tons of crazy names with the the A D line of Kobe's. We would definitely go nuts over the sneaker. That's how good this sneaker is when it comes to performance. Uh, I love the sneakers materials. The whole front of the shoe is just protected by this, and then the back you got this lightweight mesh right here. You got some suede nubuck. That's more like a nubuck feeling right there. Cheaper material, but that's not gonna get killed because it's not the front. You might get stepped on once in a while, but I that's not gonna end up making or breaking like the materials for the sneaker and say that the materials are trash because they're definitely not I, I actually like the mesh that they have in this the part that I'm most worried about when I'm wearing a shoe is going to be like this area when I crease it is it going to tear is it going to rip you're not going to get that in the sneaker like this sneaker might actually last a whole high school basketball season and and still be playable so that leads me into cushioning cushioning was fine I had no issues with it it played very very similar to the Kobe 5, probably more like the PG6 is the vibe you get out of it. But there's a nice zoom unit in the front. I, actually, I can't say nice because I can't really feel it. Me being a lighter guy, I think that takes away from feeling the zoom pads and zoom pods in it. This is a very wafer thin pod in this Sabrina. It's right in this area. It, it's very thin. It's not like... um. It's not gonna be nothing like your Zoom Strobel, like how they had that in the front of the Kyrie. If they had that in the front of this, this sneaker would be a absolute banger. Like, it already is in my opinion, but if they put a Zoom Strobel in the front of this sneaker, it's game over. She's got one of the best performing shoes that I've tried on this channel in the last couple years, and, and forever for that matter. Like, this was one of my favorite sneakers to play in. I had high hopes for it, but I know when I have high hopes for something, sometimes I get it in hand and I'm like, damn, this sucks. Like, it's not, like the Trey Young, I had high hopes for that, and I just really wasn't a big fan on that. It, shit happens. The GT Cut, or no, it was the GT Run 2, or no, the GT Run 1, I had crazy high hopes for. I went out, bought the USA colorway right off rip, and it just, the lacing system on that GT sucked. Like, it sucked bad. Like, it was terrible, not even playable. I don't know how Wemby was out here playing in it. They had to add a little padding into that tongue for them laces not to cinch over his, like, his shin area. It, it just uh my opinion this is definitely a great performer i love it um the materials i love the materials but the cushioning is one of my favorite parts as well like i said you don't get that big zoom unit up front i wish you could feel that a little bit more i wish they put a little bit more psi and made it a little bit more thicker but the react on this is definitely soft now i seen someone say that this was a carrier i do not think this is a carrier i do not think there is a core react unit in here somewhere this feels very very similar to this like it feels very very similar to this pg6 like the foam on this feels uh, it, it might be just a little bit softer but this feels right there like this foam is very soft on the sneaker so i don't think there is a foam carrier if there is if there is this definitely ain't phylon because phylon's phylon's not this soft like at all so not even close but heel comfort felt great heel impact protection felt very good um it would be a lot better if there was like a, a zoom unit in there or a zoom strobel in this whole shoe you throw a zoom strobel in this whole shoe it's game over like i said this is already one of my top performers of 2023 and if you threw a zoom strobel in this man it would it would be disgusting I, i'm already gonna probably own this pair i want to get like two by use i might get my son a by you for his uh school uniforms if they come out in time odds of us getting them in time probably very slim 
but for the most part, I definitely want to get a couple by use. I'm going to do a, a Oregon colorway. I want to do a colorway like for my 2K, hitting 2K subs. I appreciate all you guys watching, um, hitting, hitting that like button, subscribing, leaving comments. I love interacting with you guys on the channel, so I appreciate you guys for that. So before we get into traction, I just want to let you guys know this, this sneaker felt very, the word, flexible. Like it felt very, very flexible. Like look at that. Like I know there's a there's a shank in there, a midfoot shank, but it's it, it's got to be like a very thin, flimsy plastic because this this sneaker can almost fold in half, and it it doesn't even have a drop in. A lot of times, if you pull a drop in mid midsole out, you can just fold the shoe right in half. This is almost similar. So if you guys don't like a very flexible shoe and you want more uh, rigidity out of your sneakers, this might not be the sneaker for you. I just want to throw that in just in case you guys are are thinking this shoe is built like a tank because it really isn't for the most part. Now down on the traction. Traction was great, but there was, I did notice a couple issues. Um, I haven't played in this sneaker a lot. Like I've played First time I threw them on, like I said, I jumped into a five on five and played five or six games. And then I probably played maybe three, four more hours in them since then. Like I said, it didn't need any break, break in time. Um, it, the insole will mold to the foot a little bit better, giving you a little more one-to-one -one comfort. But there is signs of peeling on this sneaker. Um, I don't know if you guys can actually see that right there. It's kind of peeling on the back. And with it being translucent, it's gonna be very hard but there's also a spot right up in here that I kind of already flaked off a little bit of that rubber. So if you guys are hoping, hey, this is a $100, $130 sneaker, I'm not going to be mad. I can get it and go play outside with it and beat it up. While the upper might last you, the, the traction's not going to. Um, I was playing on a crispy, crispy, clean floor, and it, it, it still took a beating. So for the most part, the traction, I would say, isn't the most durable. It's definitely going to be kept inside only, um, depending on how you wear your shoes. Some people wear their shoes right here some wear it more over here me obviously it's going to be down here and up here so for the most part guys traction was phenomenal i i had no issues i had no slip outs at all like it was top tier on a clean floor i haven't had it in a dusty floor yet so i'm not sure how it's going to perform on a dusty setting um but i i think this is going to be a solid sneaker for the most part even on a dusty setting i don't i think an easy wipe quick easy wipes you'll be in and out a lot of people are scared of the translucent materials i wouldn't be on this sneaker um far as this like iridescent you guys can kind of see it's like a ghost iridescent type color it changes like purplish to pinkish so for the most part you don't have to really be scared about this sneaker right here the translucent material um i'm not sure if this sneaker has sold out yet i'd imagine it's probably getting damn close i'm not really sure but i was just glad to even get this sneaker i do like the other colorways as well that are coming up she actually has some dope colorways and the bayous the bayous coming out super excited about that so far as recommendations on this uh definitely a guard shoe 100 percent a guard shoe guards are going to love this shoe um i know there's a lot of kids out there guys out there like that's a woman's shoe i ain't wearing that bro this looks like a kobe like i don't care who in the hell you are this is dope. This check right here, she she just had a lot of input on this sneaker. I've watched a few videos of her. Uh, um, I kind of like to study where a sneaker came from if I have access to it. And so I watched a lot of these videos at work and I was impressed. She had a lot of input on these sneakers and I think she did a dope job. This means like forever going up, like no ceilings basically. She has it anytime, anywhere on the inside right in here. And I thought it was like she would play one-on-one -on -one versus anybody anytime anywhere and it was more just like kind of like a hoop anytime anywhere not it wasn't like you could get the work basically is how they were explaining it but i think just little dope shit like that little aesthetics and, and all that just say a lot about her grind and in the and the intricacies that she puts into her game and into her sneakers as well and I, I like this too right here i think that's dope as well so this is definitely going to be a guard shoe bigs you could get this like i said there isn't much like torsional support like this sneaker will just fold in half it feels very flexible on foot it almost feels like the nike like flex the shoes that had the lines in it like it just folds very nicely it feels great to me on foot i like having a sneaker like this sometimes i don't like having just a straight rigid sneaker it played a lot like the kobe fives it reminded me great traction the, the cushion felt good um the zoom in the front wasn't as good as a kobe five but it felt similar to the kobe five um rigidity on the kobe five especially on this pair i know they use different materials on the hall of fame pair that thing is built like a tank that's that's some serious materials on the kobe five and uh 
it just wasn't as rigid as the Kobe 5. So if you guys are looking for something that's, you know, built like a tank, that's probably not your shoe. But if you're looking for a guard shoe, um, if you're a slasher, cutter, uh, 1v1 guy, anything like that, anything needing good traction, a shoe that plays fast, this is definitely going to be the sneaker for you guys. So guys, this is my rundown of the Sabrina 1. Definitely a dope shoe. Um, you'll have no regrets getting this shoe. Like I said, durability on the traction might be like the worst part on the sneaker, but it, it's not even that bad, I don't think. I'm going to play in the sneaker a lot more. Um, if it gets any worse, like very quickly, I'll definitely get back to you guys, whether it's via Instagram, Reels, Shorts, TikToks, whatever that is. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts on that as well. This is definitely probably right now into my top five. Going to move a couple other shoes out of the way. Not really sure which ones. I'll have to go through and, and check my list and see, see kind of what ones I like the most. And I'll, I'll drop another top five here soon. But thanks guys for watching this video. And we'll catch you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.